Hi, I'm Calvin LaDuke, and I'm here to show you how to create a Play Blast in Maya 2024. The long way to do it is going up to Windows and looking for Play Blast. The quicker way is just right mouse button clicking here on the timeline, and then the bottom selection is Play Blast. Always go into the option box, and you want to check what your options are set to. Don't leave the format on AVI because it creates extremely heavy files that play very slowly. You want to use the drop down menu and change that to QT. QT stands for QuickTime. The important thing to realize is you must have QuickTime installed in your computer before you can find this format option. Your encoding, you'll use the drop down and you'll probably have to scroll up to find H264. Quality, you know, if you're a student, when you're doing the work for yourself, it's somewhere between 60, 70, 80 percent. But when you're submitting an assignment, always go up to the 100 percent quality. Display size, the size that you're capturing your Play Blast at, uh, it can either be from this window, and then you can use scaling to determine how much of that you're seeing. So if it's 0.5, it would be half of this size. I'm going to go and actually set it to custom. Um, if you're wanting to save in a high definition aspect ratio of uh, 16 to 9, then you'll want to set your pixels at 720. Let me get that in there. By 405. 405. So the scale is going to be 100%. And padding can be anywhere between 3 or 4. And you have different options for where it's saving. To remove a uh, temporary file, that means once you create the Play Blast and you look at it, when you close it, it's deleted. It's gone. In order to have a copy, you want to check the box that says Save to File. And that requires you to browse to where this is being saved. If you've created a project that you're saving your Maya file in, it should know to go to your movie files. Um, it's important to give a name to the movie you're creating. And this is a Dana rig, so I'm going to call this uh, Dana Walk underscore zero five. And a good naming convention is always required. Use the proper name and then add a number and every time you save you increase the increments. So this is the fifth version and then you go to six, seven, and eight. Save on that. Hit play blast. It doesn't matter what frame you start on because it's always going to be starting from the first frame and going to the last frame. This is a cycle. So when I hit the play button, it's only going to play through once. If I go under view and change it to loop, you can click on loop or use the hotkey selection of control plus L. And when I click on play, it's going to continuously loop this. And that's how you create a play blast. 